Alright cheap, how you guys doing? Today what I'm going to be doing is unboxing and installing a hard drive on the new MacBook Airs. Of course the MacBook Air 13 inch released in 2010. This will also work on the 11 inch models. But let's go ahead and pretty much open it. The only thing that can be changed internally within the new MacBook Airs is indeed the hard drive or the flash storage shall I say. Nothing else, you can upgrade the RAM. The only thing you can do is put more flash storage in, which is what I'm going to do in this video. You may wish to open the box however you may like, but I'm going to be getting my friend Johnny here to give me a hand with opening the box up. So let's go ahead and open the sides up. This right here does not disappoint at any time. It's open the box, so let's go ahead and let's see what's inside this package. Put Johnny aside and plenty of bubble wrap in here. So you've got all the tools as well that you need within this package. Because as you guys know, Apple have changed the screws on the MacBook Airs. You just can't use your regular household screwdriver. It's got to be a special one and OWC have included everything that you need. Well hey, they've sent an iPad case over as well, which is pretty neat. Near tech technology. The iPad protector. We'll be checking this out for sure. Putting this aside. Um, some press material. Put this aside as well. And here, the black box. This is it. Um, OWC. The flash storage comes in three different types and if you look in the description you can go directly to this page. It comes in 180 gig, 240 gig and 360 gig. And here is what you need which is what they have provided. So here's the flash storage itself, OWC. I think this is the 180 gig that they've sent, I'm not sure. And here's another tool. Well, hey, this is going to be interesting. So the first thing that I'm going to do is unscrew the 10 screws at the bottom of the MacBook Air using the tool that they have provided, so let's get straight into it. So this is what to do, put your MacBook Air such as this, the big part on this side here, and just pop this along and voila! There we go, we're inside the MacBook Air. So now that you've opened it, the only thing that you should be concentrating on is this chip here, which is the hard drive, uh, the Toshiba one, which Apple installs for you when you order your MacBook Air from Apple. We're going to unscrew this using the tool that they've provided, the tool that OWC have provided. Unscrew it and put the OWC one in, so this will kind of replace it, and then keep this safe for later use. Once you've unscrewed it, all you want to do is lift it up a wee bit, and then simply pull it back and it should just pop out. Just be very careful. There we go guys, this is the Toshiba chip that I'm taking out. Of course, installed by Apple and putting this safe for later use, you know, when I'm selling my MacBook Air. Put this aside. And right here is the new beast, the OWC, voila. And then of course, next you want to install this bad boy onto the board and you want to make sure you align it properly so this is the way it's meant to go in because as you can see from the silver lining here, you want to have the gold part and the silver part both exactly the same. I'm sure it's straightforward for those of you guys who are watching. And then you want to push it in. There we go. And then put it down. A wee bit more I think. Then once you think it's fine, it's in, and then just screw it back. Once the new chip is fit on, screw it back on as so like you've taken it off. And then once that's done, Take the cover back on, put it all back, put all the screws back, and that's it done. It's not a lengthy procedure, it's quite simple. They give you all the tools that you need, uh, which makes it much, much easier. And let's go ahead and fasten all the screws again. So guys, once you've got all the screws onto your MacBook Air, you want to power it up and then install, you know, Leopard, Snow Leopard, or upcoming line. It's not going to detect anything just now because, of course, I'm not going to install OS on this video. But you can go ahead and install your operating system. 
But here's a very interesting thing about OWC. Their write speeds for the drive for the flash storage is faster than Apple's. Specifically, it's 22% faster. So it's 275 megabits per second, whereas Apple is only about 215. The read speeds uh, for this storage here is 285. Remember guys, you can fit this OWC flash storage on your 11 inch MacBook. Remember, the 11 inch MacBook Airs only go up to 128 gigs when you buy it from Apple. So let's say you bought a 128 gig MacBook Air from Apple and you want to upgrade the storage, you know, a few months down the line you're feeling, you know, as if you can do with more storage, boom. Go to the website in the description below order it and you can have what 360 gigs at max up to for now who knows they might make more but you know that's to be seen it's a very simple procedure they give you everything that you need uh, and guys do check out the link in the description thanks for watching have you got this uh, have you ordered it are you thinking about upgrading the internal storage all of OWC's products are made in the United States they also do storage types for netbooks notebooks and if you've got a previous MacBook Air the 2008 to 2009, then yes, they do it for that as well. This, in specific, is the Mercury Aura Express Pro, uh, whereas the other ones are kind of branded differently. But again, all the links in, are in the description below for you to check out. But guys, thanks for watching. Remember, you can join me on iGlassWegion.com, Twitter.com slash i6GlassWegion. You can join me on Facebook.com slash iGlassWegion. And guys, I'll see you in another life. Cheers.